I've always thought that Australian boxing needs me and um, it's my time to shine. I punch with intention to hurt, uh, so when I do punch and when I do see my opponent hurt, I'll go for the kill. And um, I've had 12 fights, 10 by KO, and you know, I, I, keep, I keep on bringing in those KOs, that's for sure. Look, I was, I was brought up in this gym, you know, just the smell of this. People say that there's a smell in this place. I can't smell anything because I've just been so used to it. I'm so immune to it. Um, I remember back in, say, school holidays type things, people would be um, at the Easter show or they'd be at the beach. I was stuck here in this gym, you know, and it was just, I was always brought up with this. So um, it's been for me since day one. I'm representing my last name as well um, with honour. Uh, my dad put it to that to that to that level where you know considered as the greatest Aussie boxer of all time, and you know I I intend to back it up. That's for sure. Dad's always plays a big role in my in my career. Uh, he's shaped me to be who I am with the discipline. Um, with the work ethic, and you know that's the biggest lesson that my dad taught me was to, to keep training, not, not not just train, to keep to keep pushing and to stay focused. You know that's that's the main thing. He always pushes me saying, stay focused, stay focused, because that's the number one thing. Once you lose focus, that's when when things start going down. Boxing's a hard sport. Um, all people see is the ups, but there's a lot of downs. There's a lot of hard work. Um, it's very tiring. Yeah, it's physically and mentally exhausting. So, you know, my, my parents were able to see that. They were able to live through it. And it always sucked me in. Um, and it, it doesn't matter what my parents want or whoever, whatever, whoever wants. Um, I do it for myself. It's a long journey ahead of me, but I know I've got the Australian public behind me and um, it's going to be one hell of a ride.